Hello there. Welcome to the moment of grace. Today I've come to encourage you that you should break that wrong hold. I read to you from the book of Zechariah and chapter 1 from verse 17. He says, Cry yet, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, my cities, through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad, and the Lord shall comfort Zion, and yet chose Jerusalem. Immediately God said, I want to prosper my city. Then I lift up my eye, verse 18, and saw, behold, arms, four of them. And I said to the angel, what are these? And he said, these are the ones that scattered Judah and Israel and Jerusalem, the same cities that God wants to prosper. And the Lord showed me four carpenters, so all hope is not lost. And I said, what are these carpenters and what have they come to? They said, these are ones which scattered Judah that no man did lift up his head. But these carpenters have come to fray them to cast the horn of joint high which lift up his horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. You see, so there's no doubt to the fact that the plan of God for us is prosperity. And prosperity here means continuous and appreciable progress per time. But this won't stop the forces of darkness from wanting to hold us down. The fact that God wants you to prosper doesn't mean the kingdom of darkness will not want to hold you down to where you used to be. You see, these forces could be human, could be a system, and could be demonic. And God's plan for you is to look upward and to look forward. It's for you not to settle down with the strong hold. It's for you to walk against the strong hold. Whether you are dealing with stronghold of nature or of habit or of attitude or of addiction. Maybe you are dealing with stronghold of background, where you came from, where you were born, people who didn't help you in your family. Or you're dealing with stronghold of past failure or shortcomings in your life. Or you're dealing with stronghold of relationships or religion or even wrong belief system. Maybe you're dealing with stronghold of curses or demonic obsession and all kinds of the works of darkness. You see, you are the one to initiate the breakaway. You see, in the Old Testament, the Lord rebukes Satan for them. But in the New Testament, Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever you bind on earth. So you need to bind first. And then ever will bind after you. You need to lose first. And ever will lose after you. So therefore, the hold that won't want you to lift up your head or look forward. It's now time for you to bind them. So that God in heaven will bind them along with you. So that you will, you see, angels on earth are sent now, according to Hebrews and chapter 1 verse 14, to minister to you who is the inheritor of the glory or the kingdom of God. And that is why angels, they now walk on the impulse of your destiny. And you need to take your destiny in your hand and break the strong hold, no matter what I've been holding you then it's now time for you to break them in second corinthians and chapter 4, 10 and verse 4 says we wrestle not said though we walk in flesh we do not walk after the flesh that means our pattern of battle is not according to human flesh he said our weapon of warfare are not carnal but to the pulling down of but they are mighty true god to the pulling down of stronghold so we are the one that we Pull down the stronghold. You use God to pull down the stronghold of Satan. You use light to pull down the stronghold of darkness. Angels are there to help you pull down the stronghold of demons. And therefore, you need to take charge and break the wrong hold on your destiny. Stop being surprised that there are still hold. Trying to resist you looking up and moving up and looking forward and moving forward. It is natural. When God comes with prosperity for his people, Satan and his kingdom come with strong hold. And every wrong hold holding you strong, God is ready to help with divine carpenter to scatter them. But you need to take the initiative. My prayer for you today is that every evil stronghold on you, on your body, on your career, on your marriage, on your finance, on your life, 
I now declare broken in the name of Jesus. Receive courage, receive strength, receive ability of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ to do away with this wronghold in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for healing in your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. For Christ himself took your infirmity and bore your grief and chastisement of your peace was laid on him. Be healed right now and be made whole in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Inka Akintide and I pastor Dadem Church. I invite you to join us for one of our services, 312-314 London Road, Rumford, RM79NH. The Lord bless you till I see you next.